Well, as for my buddy, I'm gonna actually choose Sword Kirby and choose the Ultra Sword hat. Just because, why not? Wait a minute, Kirby is pink if you decide to choose a different character? Welcome guys back to episode number 32 of Kirby Fighters 2. In the last episode, we finally finished up chapter 4, and we also managed to uh, witness a lot of stuff. First is the fact that we unlocked chapter 5, second is the fact that we managed to unlock Meta Knight and a brand new stage added into the game, and we also unlocked the Ultra Sword Hat, as well as a secret song for Bubbly Clouds as well, since we ranked them quite high in the last episode. We were just filling that last chapter before we got to uh, King DDD and Meta Knight, and they really kicked our butts. But we were able to finally finish them off and finally finish Chapter 4. For today, I feel like I want to do a little battle match and actually test something out with um, the new character that we just unlocked. So for today, let's test out a little bit of battling with Meta Knight. Since we have not used him before, and this is actually going to be our first time using him for the sake of this video, and series in general, too. Alright, let's make our opponents as Gooey, Bandana Wild D, and of course Magua. And as for the stage, let's do dis Stage of Disdain Rivals, because this is a new stage that we unlocked, and we have not attempted this stage at all before, so... Why not? This will be a good um, test before we get into the main challenges of the game later. So, why not? <laughs> hey, Meta Knight looking clean with that introduction, man. Hold up. It's all dream character battle this time. Ow! Hey, yo, my man killing these, uh, these attacks, though. Ouch! There you go! There we go. Boom! Ow! Okay, I got hit by that a little bit, a little bit, but... What just happened there? The explosion effect happened, he got the action start, and then he died? That has got to be the weirdest victory I've ever had in this game, let alone trying to beat for the most part. What in the world? I mean, I'm going to take it regardless, but what was that about? Well, whatever, at least we got a couple points, so no biggie. clear in the past that, quite frankly, I'm not ready to start Chapter 5, because Chapter 5 requires me to start it back from the beginning if I do end up losing, which I don't want to deal with that. So effectively, like I said in the last episode, we're going to actually replay through the past chapters just to get ourselves prepared for this big challenge that I'm about to deal with. First, select the character for the player to control. So it up a bit and actually choose a, a dream character. So let's actually do Meta Knight for today's challenge. Next, select the buddy character to be your partner. Well, as for my buddy, I'm going to actually choose Sword Kirby and choose the Ultra Sword Hat. Just because, why not? Wait a minute, Kirby is pink if you decide to choose a different character? And there's the final chapter, but we ain't doing that for today's episode. Because remember, we're going to actually play through the past chapters, but... Okay, I never saw this before. If you don't choose Kirby as your playable character, he's still going to be pink. This is the first game I have ever seen in which the computer player doesn't change a color if you have, Kurt, if you have to choose a character that is a dream character. I never saw any game doing this before. Usually in past games, if you choose someone that's not Kirby... The other players would have a different color Kirby, like yellow, blue, or green, but this is the first time I've ever seen this. That's really interesting. And honestly, that looks kind of meta, I'm not going to lie, so we're just going to roll with it. First up, the Gentle Water. 
Now, because we're playing chapter one, this is going to go by relatively fast since, you know, chapter one back in the past was pretty quick. So I think I'm going to have to get used to Meta Knight's moveset because considering that Meta Knight usually plays very good in Star Allies and seeing as I already did a live stream in the past where I did play as him and did relatively good back in that past joint, something is telling me that Meta Knight's going to kill it this episode. Oh, I completely forgot about that attack. I didn't know that man I could still do that. All right, there we go. Hey, you don't mess with the boy. When you when you play against Man Knight, you play as a boss. I find it crazy that man I can still do the back um the moonwalk just like Kirby can. That is insane, man. Wow. All right, we get measly 300 points, but it's whatever. All right, four floors left. Let's do the quick charge stone. We actually didn't get the chance to try this one in a while, so why not? Next up, the Do-Eyed Artist. I'm gonna have to say, Meta Knight actually plays relatively good. I'm surprised at how good Meta Knight plays during this game. I love that nice introduction to the new scenes. It's too gold. He actually ran um, the Kirby into that thing, but at the same time, he managed to uh, completely deplete his health because of it. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're just going to roll with it. Hey, yo, man, they're killing it so far, though. You're not doing too bad, so. All right, three floors left. Let's do health stone. Next up, the Famished Beam and the Hungry Water. Hey, Mega overall is doing relatively good, though, so far, so. All right, let's do this. Beep, beep, beep. Bring it on. Okay, I'm getting that. Come on, Kirby. It's that time. It's been a minute since we last used this one, too. How long has it been since we last used this? Let's go. Long as that, boys. Bam! Okay, it didn't instantly kill him, but still. That, that, I'll get rid of that guy. There we go. I actually was hoping that Crackle was going to make an appearance. <laughs> I I literally wasted time on purpose just to see if Crackle was going to make an appearance within this, and apparently he doesn't. That's so stupid that he doesn't make an appearance within Chapter 1. Come on, bro. What is that nonsense? Come on, man. That is just so dumb. Come on, man. All right. Two floors left. <laughs> eh, why not? We'll go for a cherry. <laughs> Call me crazy, but that's what we doing. Next up is the cutesy artist and the beginner sword. Which, ironically, we already have a Kirby that has sword, but that don't matter, because we're going to beat him anyway. Put the, put the back. All right, let's go ahead and beat him. Come on, Kirby. Then I has got the job done. Yo, Meta Knight's sword does a quite a load of damage, by the way. Good strike. Nah. 
There we go. Wait, can you even attack the 8 bit Kirby? Oh no, you can't attack the 8 bit King DDD. I was under the impression you can, but you can't. You can't actually attack the 8 bit King DDD at all. Which, on the other hand, is kind of weird. You would think you would be able to attack him at least, but strangely, you can't. I mean, then again, I don't know why you would do that regardless, but I just got curious. Alright, just one more battle left. Which kind of makes sense, because the last fight ultimately is with them trees again, so... Let's do the, um, charge stone. Quick charge stone. Level 2. Here we go! Twin Woods again! Time to battle them again. Just like what happened back in the past, too. Back in the, uh, the very first episode. It's that time! Giant Trees of Winds! Twin Woods! Let's go! Thankfully, man, that's a pro with this, so we shouldn't have that much of a problem. Although now I just realized, because we don't have a lot of um, attack power-ups, this battle's gonna go by a lot slower than usual. Oh, you can still do this attack! Which means, hold on. Crush start! I was trying to get that, act that move to activate, but apparently that did not happen, so... There we go! That's what I was trying to get activated. And man, I a champ when it comes down to damage, though. Y'all understand, he really is a champ. Y'all might consider me a fool for not taking any attack power-ups, but honestly, I don't give a care. As long as I win the fight, that's all that matters. Yo, men are doing crazy damage. I mean, it's consistently a little, but still. I actually did not realize till just now that this is a reference to the boss battle music in Star Allies. For the longest time, I was wondering what this theme was supposed to be based off of, and now it just hit my mind of what it was. Insane that it took me this long for me to finally figure that out. Heck, what's Kirby doing, by the way? Alright, come on, man. Let's go. And already gone. Bam! I mean, it's consistent little damage, but still, it's very effective. Sheeshy goodness, man. Alright! We cleared Chapter 1 again for the second time. I'm actually surprised of how well Men and I performed throughout that first chapter. I mean... We already completed it, um, you know, 31 episodes ago, but still. Oh! We get a silver medal for our troubles. Alright, I can take, I can accept that. And we get 3,768 points for that. I'll take it. Just enough to get to level 47. Nice! Cursed Anti-Ghost Ring. Okay, then, we got a new ring. All right, then. I'll take it. At last, it was time to battle King DDD and Meta Knight. Or so Kirby thought. To his surprise, it was Twin Woods waiting at the top. After defeating Twin Woods, Kirby and his buddies seemed to reach a dead end. Luckily, defeated Twin Luckily, the defeated Twin Woods dropped a door key leading higher into the tower. Kirby and his buddy once again began to climb, setting their sights on the summit where King DDD and Meta Knight await. Chapter 2. Seeker Substitutes. So if you be a chapter again, you still get to see these particular cutscenes. Huh. I honestly did not know that. If you complete a chapter with that particular deal, that's what happens. Very interesting to know that, actually. 
Well, in any case, guys, this is a good stop to wrap up this episode. I do that you guys enjoy me rebranding through chapter one again. Honestly, this one was much longer than I was expecting, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? As long as you beat the game, that's what matters. But anyways, I will see you guys next time when I come back for the next episode of Time to some more of this game. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the single-handed matchups first before we do anything for chapter two. Because I wanna try to complete all the um all the easy difficulties with all the characters. I know I don't have King DDD yet, so I'm gonna have to do his last, but you know, you get the point regardless, so. I just wanna try and get that out of my system before we do anything big later, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, see y'all next time when I come back for the next episode. So till next time guys, bye.